you want to study industrial design and are just thinking about what to do until your study starts, let me tell you about the things I wish I would have done before starting my studies, but also things I did that helped a lot. Hi friends, in this video I will be talking about 6 things that would be a good idea to do before starting to study industrial design. I actually believe that the last one is the most important, so keep on watching for that one. I actually believe that one of the best things you can do before starting to study industrial design is to travel. Actually, to travel a lot. Seeing new places, meeting new people, exploring new cultures, getting all of that and soaking it in. Design is all about connecting the dots between the experiences of users, their problems, your experience, and combining all of that into solutions for problems. I personally believe that travel helps a lot with that. Not only does traveling give you the opportunity to see what other places do about problems. Sometimes the solution to a problem in your home country might just be to implement a thing that is totally normal in another. Several of my professors were extremely influenced by their time in Asia and still profit from it. Being immersed in different cultures gives you the ability to navigate between different cultures. There are sensitivities. And that is a skill which is becoming more and more important in our globalized world, where your task might be to create a global product and you have to think about all of the different sensitivities of different countries. I sadly did not travel that much so far, which is a little bit weird when I'm giving this advice, right? And also one of the reasons I decided to come here to Taiwan because I really want to get those benefits, if not before studying, at least during my studies. So if you have the opportunity to use the time before studying to travel a little bit, definitely do so. And if you are afraid of the cost of it all, there are so many tutorials online about how to travel for cheap. So maybe look into that. The second thing is to just live life. This might sound a little bit general, what do I mean by that? So basically, I pretty much came to university straight out of school. And while I don't think that there's something really wrong about that, I also believe that there's a lot to be gained from living life a little bit more beforehand and coming into the studies with a lot more life experience, a lot more maturity in a way. If you're coming from a different background, maybe that feels like a hindrance to you. You think that you are too old or something, but I believe that especially in design, we are able to draw a lot from all of the experience we gathered. And the experiences we had is the pool where we are generating our ideas from. So if, for example, you worked in finance beforehand or on an oil rig or something, I think there's a lot to be gained from that. And it all creates your identity as a designer and also your speciality. And I really want to emphasize one sort of those people. I have to admit that I'm a little bit envious of the people that learned a craft or trade before studying industrial design. From what I witnessed with friends and our fellow students, they really are amazing. Many that learned a craft or trade beforehand come into the study much more maturely. They come there with so many amazing skills that they can directly transfer to their project. And sometimes it's honestly a little bit intimidating. For example, if you learned carpentry beforehand, you might just be that beast in model making everyone is really <laughs> intimidated by. It. I also saw that having learned those things beforehand really gives people insight into what they want to do next. So they get into design school with a much clearer vision and that leads to them also performing much better in many cases. And for those of you that learned a craft or trade and are thinking about only going into industrial design school to get a bit of that design aspect to your craft. You're not alone. I think many people are doing that actually. Also a lot of people I know and they're doing amazing works with that. They come there and later on want to work in their craft or trade but also get those techniques, skills, maybe also the software and the industry related qualities that industrial design brings. I think the merge is amazing nowadays. So even if you learned a craft or trade beforehand, I really encourage you to consider industrial design maybe even because of it. I know they always say that you don't have to know how to draw. It's not that important and also they will teach you in university. But as Feng Zhu, who has a school for concept artists in Singapore, noticed students who already know how to draw 
and have those technical basics down already, learn so much faster, like exponentially so. We cannot generalize here, but it kind of makes sense, right? Drawing is one of our most important tools. We can use it to communicate, but also to think. I, for example, noticed that the better I learned to draw, the better I was also able to think in three dimensions. For others, it may be different, but being able to communicate in drawing, think in drawing, and also present your drawings to other people, it's one of the most important things. And while other students might have to learn the basics of drawing and slowly try to get to the level others started at, those people might be able to focus the entire time on the actual learning design part, but don't be disheartened by it. And also don't take this maybe too seriously, but with a grain of salt. I'm also not that good at drawing, but I try my best. And I think so should you. You probably also have to for your portfolio, right? So if you have some spare time before starting to study industrial design, focus on your drawing. Maybe if you spend enough time on it, you will be that person that dominates your class. This part might sound a little bit weird again. What do I mean by that? Get your life in order. It's a thing that is a little bit more complicated and also involves privilege. Because what I mean by that is, if you study industrial design, it takes up a lot of time. Like studying everything does. But because most of your classes will be project-based, you will have to put a lot of time in there if you want to get the results. This means that it will be quite hard to focus on anything else and big distractions. Like for example, getting that new apartment or that new job or even getting a job. At our first day of university, a professor told us that it will be quite hard to work on the side and told us not to do it, at least in the first two semesters. Many of us thought that was crazy. It is about privilege, because many people have to work to afford their studies. But I really get why the professor told us that. It is hard, especially in the first two semesters, in most programs at least. Later on, it gets much easier to work on the side. But a thing you might be able to do and even benefit tenfold from is to pick that side job but also something that is really interesting to you or related to the things you want to do so for example someone at our university always was interested in car design and the side job was to be a chauffeur like a private driver which gave him a lot of insight for his designs quite a cool thing so if you have to work in your first year of study think about that maybe but what I probably think is the most important thing before you study industrial design is to realize what industrial design is, to really find it out and to find out if it is the right thing for you. Industrial design is a little bit of a misunderstood profession by many people and maybe you don't even know what you will be getting into. And I've seen so many people hanging in there, even though they know that it's not really for them. At some point, some cost fallacy sets in and you invested too much time to now just stop doing it. So, how do you figure out what industrial design is and if you want to do it? Like, actually, there's a lot of things you can do in your time before studying or even applying. One of them is to talk to people in the industry. This is called coffee chats where it's basically you inviting people, students maybe, or working in professionals to a small chat, maybe over coffee. I can make a video about that if you want. And it's really helpful because you can just talk to them, ask the questions, for example, about their daily life and what they do, what exactly it is. Because even if you look at videos online, Sometimes it can be maybe a little bit of an idealized or very one-sided situation. And if you talk to several people that can really get into your situation and give you personalized advice, that is a really good place to be in. But obviously, making videos on this subject, I believe that looking at videos like this one or many others, there is a lot of value in that because you can get some kind of insights into the industry, what it is to work as an industrial designer, what industrial design is, the video here, or how it is to study industrial design. I think nowadays, with us having the internet, 
it is a lot of opportunity to learn those things before you go in there. If you still are a student, or even if not, you may be also able to do some kind of internship or just being able to look into an agency or a school just for a little bit and get a little bit more insight. And why am I stressing all of this? Because if you study industrial design, it can be quite hard. Obviously, that makes sense. Like with studying basically everything. But with these project-based courses, what you put into it is basically what you get out of it. Not every time, but generally you could say that. It really pays off to invest a lot. But if you don't really know, if you want to do this like for real, you might not really put in all of the energy and all of the time you have on your hand. And in return, not get all the benefits you could have. So really get clear on why you want to study industrial design and maybe even write it out so that you can get a really clear idea about it. And when times are getting tough, you can remember why you thought this is a good idea <laughs> and just push through. And if you are now sure that you really want to do this, maybe get some more tips for your studies. See you next time.